if technology could help you be a better athlete or a musician or a news anchor, would you use it? Well, a growing number of people are saying yes as researchers continue experimenting with different ways to blend humans and robots. Marianne Rafferty has the story. Since the dawn of time, people have been inventing gadgets to help make their lives easier. But as technology advances, so does the way we use it. How can we help people, you know, achieve all they can achieve and beyond through the means of technology? In London, educators at Imperial College are exploring the concept of modern-day cyborgs by attaching a mechanical thumb to a piano player's hand. The musician taps their foot, which triggers an electrical signal, causing their 11th finger to move. Researchers say it took about an hour, but the players' brains were able to recognize the new digit and adapt to using it. At the start, it feels maybe a bit more like a tool uh, that is attached to you, like, you know, you're holding a drumstick. But, you know, after an hour or two, it just feels like an extension of you. But having an extra finger can do more than help you play an instrument. The technology could be tweaked to let people type and text faster, hold more bags during a trip to the grocery store, and more. If we don't impress technologies, then we are not moving. Olympic marathon runner and world record holder Eliud Kipchoge may not be getting outfitted with a robotic thumb, but like many athletes, he uses special carbon fiber sneakers, which help him run faster. Begging the question, just how far will we push the boundaries of integrating our bodies with technology? And while advocates say devices that elevate the way we function should be celebrated, some critics say these advances could be putting some other people at an unfair advantage. A bone